In this video, I'll go over the basic functionality and user interface of LISX Navigator in version 3.6. So to launch Navigator, we go up to the top here, this little grid icon, click it. That launches the Navigator window. Everything on the left here is in your traditional interface from our Projects tab, our Beam Path where we set up our multi-channel, our image tab where we can activate ZStack and time-lapse as well as our autofocus panel, our illumination tab. If you are on a Thunder imager, you can activate Thunder here. Projects tab allow us to go into some advanced settings. Our autofocus tab allows us to access our high speed or best focus if you don't have triggered peripherals. If you have AFC or adaptive focus control, you can also control it here. Our stage window allows us to control things such as tile overlap, our acquisition order, our overview settings, and our merging settings. Under carrier, we can specify what kind of carrier we want. Currently, I have a slide here, but you can also put in various dishes and well plates. You can create your own. Next here on the bottom left is our action buttons. Our live image gives us a live image. We can zoom in quickly by going to this top move to stage position, and then we can focus. Now that we have a focused image, we can zoom in and zoom out using our mouse wheel. So I'm just moving the, the mouse wheel out and then back in. I can hold down the mouse to drag my view of the stage. So it's all controlled by the mouse, which is very nice. Once I have an image, I can hit spiral to get a quick preview. And Spiral will keep going until I tell it to stop. So usually what happens when we have a preview like this is then people will go in and use these various tools down here to draw regions of interest or to mark positions that they want to put in their experiment. So the, this is a single position versus polygon, rectangle, etc. I often just will go in and draw some rectangles. So Navigator is really smart. It knows how many tiles it takes to cover each of these regions. If you change the objective, it will likewise change the number of fields of view that it takes to cover that same area. We also have a magic wand tool that will automatically detect boundaries. Uh, we have a focus map point and autofocus point tool to help you with focusing and that will be the subject of another tutorial. Preview button will show you a preview without running the whole experiment. Uh, that means without Z stack or without multi-channel or time lapse. And then start will give you an indication of how long it's going to take to collect all of your tasks. So two seconds. At the top here are your images. These include your previews as well as any tile scans that you run. If you do not hit safe overview or put it in your projects tab, then these are only temporary. They do not last. So if you actually do want to save your overview, you have to hit save overview or put it under stage save overview on startup acquisition. Now at the very top, we have reset viewer zoom. That will reset basically everything that you've imaged so far into your viewer. You can also increase the zoom manually like this. I always like to use the mouse wheel. And then under the channel button here, for every channel that you're imaging, you'll have the choice of adjusting the exposure time here as well as the range and the channel color. So I've shown you the stage position. Um, you can also use this tile acquisition region to zoom out to your various tile regions. And then the show full carrier region will zoom out. So it's very much like Google Earth where you can zoom in and zoom out depending on your area of interest and the detail that you're interested in. At the very top, you can switch between acquisition. Mosaic Merge will give you the list of your projects and browse through your images. And then what's not available here is, is at the analysis tab. So if you have a license for the analysis module, that will appear here. 
You can leave Navigator by closing it and returning to the traditional interface. The good news is when you hit this LASX Navigator again, it will relaunch in the same exact mode that you had left it. So all of your settings are kept.